Hello and welcome to another FittingSites.com screencast tutorial. In this video we're going to spend a little time outside of WordPress. We're actually going to cover how to find good free images on the internet. And for that we're going to use a tool I'm sure everyone is familiar with called Flickr. And I'm going to guess that up to this point that if you've looked for images on the internet for your blog post you've probably done a Google search and found an image that you've liked and just sort of borrowed it, quote unquote. But we all know that that's not exactly the right thing to do and that image may have some copyright issues around it that you'd hate to get into trouble for. So the problem is, is how do you find good free images for your blog posts? Well, Flickr, if you search throughout the entire whole of Flickr, you probably would still run afoul of the same problems. However, we're going to look for images that are licensed under Creative Commons. And what Creative Commons is, is it's a alternative to copyright that allows photographers and other content creators to give you permission to use the image as long as you meet a couple of requirements that they have for you. And so here inside of Flickr, what we're going to do is we're going to click on the Explore tab. If you look down here at the bottom, you'll see that there is a, a link for Creative Commons. So we're going to click on that link and it takes us to this page right here which is called Explore Creative Commons. And if we look around here we can see that there's quite a few different libraries of images that we can choose from. And if you look over here on the side you can see a little explanation about what Creative Commons is as well as what the different uh, licenses are for Creative Commons. And what we want to focus on is what's called attribution license right here. And what that means is that you're free to use the image, you're free to modify the image, you're free to do anything with it you want provided that you do not sell the image, and you have to give the photographer credit. That's the only requirement for using these images and it's very important to give the photographer credit. Once you've done that, the image is yours to use, no problem. And as you can see here that in this library there are 23 million photos to choose from. So clearly there's quite a few available. So let's go ahead and click on the See More tab so that we can browse the Creative Commons area. And what we're going to do for our business is we're going to do a search for some creative pictures around cupcakes. And I have a little search item that I've already copied to my clipboard, so I'm just going to paste that in here. We're going to look for some crazy cupcakes. So go ahead and click on the search button. And we come up with a page full of interesting photos for cupcakes. And as you can see here, up above in the uh, browser bar, it says showing Creative Commons licensed content requiring attribution. That tells us that all the images that we see here on this page are the ones that we want to use, provided we give credit to the photographer. I happen to like this really bright um, confetti kind of picture here, so let's go ahead and click on that. And once that's loaded, we can see our image. Now, the trick with using Creative Commons is that, of course, everyone sort of asks for something a little bit different. In this case right here, this photographer, uh, Sharon Pruitt, has asked that you need to give her credit as the original owner of the photograph. What we're going to do is we're going to copy that name and paste it to our clipboard. And other than that, she says, go ahead and use it. Have fun. Some other photographers will ask you to put a link back to their website or their profile on Flickr. And uh, definitely you want to respect whatever the photographer has asked you to do. Also, some photographers, they license their images under Creative Commons, but they don't really ask in this area for you to do something in terms of attribution. However, you should at least link back to their uh, profile page on Flickr or use their Flickr screen name or in some way make sure that you're giving them credit. And what I've done is I've already downloaded this image so that we can skip to the next step. Because what we need to do is we need to put this in our actual blog post. So here we see the edit post panel for uh, our blog post that we're going to add this image to. I'm just going to drag this window down to open up our view a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to insert our cursor into the beginning of the paragraph 
Uh, I definitely recommend you watch my video on how to insert images into your WordPress pages or posts as it covers this area in a little bit more detail. So we're going to go just a little bit fast here. And let's click on the Upload Insert link. We're going to select the file from our computer. Here we have it. We're going to open it up, upload it real quickly. And one thing that we want to make sure to do is we want to make sure to change the title. This title is a little bit of gibberish. We're going to call it Cupcake Confetti. And then for the credit for the photographer, what we want to do is we want to actually insert the copyright line into the caption area of WordPress. So we're going to copy that in there. That's also from my clipboard. And I've added the copyright symbol. However, if you're not sure how to do that, just go ahead and type out the word copyright by. And here we've added the copyright exactly as she asked us to on her Flickr page. The settings look OK, so we're going to click on Insert into Post. And there's our image with our credit intact. Let's go ahead and update this page and then view it in the post so we can see it, make sure that it's there correctly. And indeed, there we are. We have our new image. It's completely free to use and very compelling. And all we've had to do is give credit to the photographer. So this is a really easy way for you to find really good, really compelling images, most of them done by really passionate photographers. And you can feel good using them knowing that you're not breaking any laws and they're completely free. And that also you are giving credit to the photographer who did this hard work. Well, that's it for now. Thank you for watching and have a great day.